Yeah, hello. My name is Christian Walter from TradeVola, and um, today I want to show you some interesting stocks from the last days uh, from the um, Nasdaq NICE, or from mainly from the U.S. Um, stock exchange. First of all, um, we see like um, a comeback of most of these um, Reddit stocks, which are pushed um, yeah, tremendously in the end of January, or also in February. They saw a few of them. Um, GSAT or Global Star Incorporation might be one of them. There was a big move here in February um, after this, it went down um, back to almost one dollar. And today, with 15 uh, percent, um, almost 15 percent change to yesterday, we saw a quite um, good move. And um, also, option volume is getting um, back to the old level. I would say almost 100,000 call options, mainly here. Um, some bettings that it will reach uh, again the level of two dollars in the next one and a half month. But I think the main um, stocks where I think most uh, people watched um, or where it started was GameStop. And GameStop already yesterday we saw good movements here, 40% um, um, profit. I think uh, comparing to Friday closing price and today almost 20%. So GameStop um, with its amazing Volatility in the last uh, weeks looks like coming back to old um, highs in January. It's still, I think, uh, very risky uh, because of the big uh, movements. We can see it even in the implied volatility here. It's um, more than 350% implied volatility, what makes it super difficult to um, trade this with um, options because options are already quite um, quite expensive because of the big movements but um, for everyone who was waiting for a comeback of um, GameStop as well as AMC Entertainment um, these two stocks um, yeah look they are looking like um, coming back to old heights at least there's um, some new up movement what we can see at the moment and uh, might be interesting to see how this will continue in the next uh, few days. Um, AMC, there are a few bets that it will move above $12 uh, till the end of the week. Um, but like I said, most of them are really on a short period of time because I think for long time for buy and hold, these stocks are not really interesting. Maybe some of these um, upcoming stocks like um, General Electric might be more interesting when you see it on a longer perspective. Here uh, um, for General Electric, we saw quite a significant um, call volume coming in, especially here on calls for June and uh, price of $17. Um, at the moment, we have here a um, little bit uh, more than $14. And just to give you an overview, uh, a bigger picture, I would say, um, where General Electric came from, uh, we can see here end of 2016, beginning of 2017, it was almost double the price from now. So there's still um, yeah, a good um, a good space for up movement to come back to the same level. We see um, very good um, call volume at the moment. Also the uptrend um, looks quite intact. Um, so from this side, um, quite curious um, how this stock will move um, the next few weeks. Um, and as we can see, um, a lot of option traders are betting that it will um, at least go um, more up till June. And um, I think $17 is a quite realistic price for this period of time. Other than um, General Electric, we also saw a comeback today on um, some, yeah, electric car companies like Neo Incorporation from China with um, almost 20% um, change comparing to yesterday. Also very good um, option volume what we can see, but mainly also quite um, short term option volume means like there are most bets I saw only till end of the week or till end of the next week. Um, um, but it can be a start of a new comeback and then it might be interesting if you can see it will reach the all-time high in the next weeks uh, what will happen then so neo and tesla um, i think the main stocks in this industry they have almost the same chart if we compare the last few weeks um, they went down quite significant 
Um, Tesla not so much in percent or percentage wise like Neo. Neo from his um, highest um, price, I think it is, was here at the beginning of January. It uh, went almost uh, down 50% um, if we saw the lowest price on Friday. Um, and this, this can be a good chance to buy stocks like Neo or Tesla on a cheaper level now. Yeah, what else? Um, after Neo, um, Tesla, and um, all these um, stocks, which we saw, I think, in many videos before, might be also interesting to have a look on Disney. Um, Disney, we saw yesterday um, the first breakout above $200, also with a closing price. Today, almost the whole um, up move is um, got corrected again. We are now below the lowest course from yesterday. Um, but I think it's also interesting to have a closer look in the next few days because I think in a positive uh, market environment as uh, we are at the moment, there's a good chance that um, Disney uh, will continue with the breakout. Um, this I think we will see in the next few days. Um, maybe it's um, also going back to a level of 190. Um, and I think uh, we don't have to talk about the breakout in the next few days. Um, so. Um, this should be um, seen, I think, yeah, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. Um, and then we can talk about this um, also again in one of our next presentations. Um, and one stock, I think, uh, what was um, one of the most important um, in the last week, I will also show you here, is um, Rocket, Rockets um, Incorporation, where we had also crazy up move last week um, and looks exactly similar, I would say, to the other stocks what we saw earlier. Um, there might be a comeback in the next days. It's still super volatile, but um, comparing to GameStop and AMC, this is a different level. Here we only have 100% um, implied volatility. Um, volume in total is also not so high like in these other stocks which we mentioned earlier, but might be still um, a good yeah, a good um, value for short-term trading or intraday trading as there is a really good movement here. And um, last but not least, we also want to um, come back to one of the um, most inter interesting um, symbols from yesterday. It's a company with the symbol NLOK. Um, it's a software company from the US and here we can see um, yesterday and today um, quite an important up movement and I think now the next level is the $22 um, and yeah we will see maybe this week a breakout above this looks pretty good from the charting um, also volume um, for small um, stock like this looks um, interesting same like the last um, symbol which I want to present you today Western Union Western Union there was some news um, yesterday what caused, I think, um, this high call volume, what we had today, but for the call, vo call volume of the 55,000, what we see here, I have to mention that I um, think that some options, um, yeah, option position got just changed. Um, some option were rolled to different strike prices. That's why we have this um, big increase in the call volume today, but still from the charting, from the news, I think there was um, an agreement of a corporation of a big company from Singapore. So all this information looks quite um, quite good. And um, I think mainly here some options for May are increased from the, from the strike price. So this is also a positive signal normally for the market, especially for this stock. So I think Western Union, Western Union is also an interesting stock uh, where, should, where you should have a deeper look in there next few days so let me double check if we forgot anything from the most interesting um symbols and stocks from the last days but i think these were pretty much everything um to not miss any of our upcoming videos uh, please subscribe here to our channel i will be happy um, to welcome you um, for our next videos um, stay safe and uh, see you soon Bye bye